Hello, peeps. This is Arcane Society. Coming back to you with a little thing. It's kind of useless, but I thought it'd be fun just to do it anyway. As you can probably guess, I built a thing I like to call the tree farm. It's kind of just a tree processing unit. Doesn't really... <laughs> doesn't really make anything faster, it's just more fun, I, in my opinion. So let's just check it out here. It's pretty big, uh, honestly, but um, once we get inside you'll see, you'll see what it does. I kind of have a thing for uh, creeper faces on my windows, but that's just me. Let's get in here. It's uh, employed by Hexus. Yes, that's if you guys have watched Fern Gully. Don't have to admit it, but uh, give me a like if you if you have. Hint. Anyway, uh, what you see here, it's called wood storage. Uh, here, let me just show you. Let me just show you. We've got uh, system power, sapling collector, etc. It's all all controlled digitally, and you got this little dirt block here. Now on this side, I got some bone storage. And this side, I got sapling storage. And what we're going to do, as you'll see in a second, we're just going to mass produce some logs here. Alright. So you just plant it there, and when the system's on, it's got an auto detection system for when the uh, tree grows, so. See? Everything starts getting to work. It's, uh, it's pushing up the sand here through a system of uh, pistons, and then it pushes the tree down. And then when it sees it, it's gonna. Oh, you saw that right there. It's, uh, it's pushing it down. And it lets the sand fall through, and then it puts the dirt block back when it's ready to plant another tree. And, uh, and then this sapling collector system, which you can switch off by the way. Just allows, uh, just pretty much catches all the saplings as these leaves are deteriorating, and then it brings them right to you, so you can keep planting. So, let's grow another tree here, and you can see what it's doing over here. As it's pushing it down, it's actually bringing the logs over. See? Then it's got an auto detection system here. When it gets full, it pushes it over to a new row, and then it keeps going. And then uh, basically what happens is uh, when this whole row gets filled up, let me just just show you here. When this row gets filled up, it pushes all of them up. See? And then it can fill up the next row down at the bottom, and it can just keeps going like that over and over again. And. Uh, then we got this little thing here called uh, max capacity. Basically, when it reaches the limit of what the pistons can push, which I think is like 12 blocks, I've got this little auto detection system up there. It basically tells me that the system is completely full. And you can't really... It's kind of a, a risk to keep uh, producing logs because... Uh, Basically, the system's going to trip out when it can't push anymore. Everything's going to get clogged, so. You hear that? That little beep sound? That's uh, basically telling you that it's reached maximum capacity. Ooh. Right there. And I've got a blinking light for when it reaches max capacity. You can actually turn off the sound if it gets annoying to you. That way you can just see the blinking light. And uh, it's basically warning you to not build any or plant any more trees because otherwise things are going to get a little wonky after a little bit. There's a little leeway because when it's up there, there's actually a whole bottom uh, area, one more level that it can fill up with trees. So it gives you plenty of space just in case you know you accidentally do plant a tree. It gives you plenty of leeway as a safety precaution. Let me just turn that off. It's kind of annoying. But the way it works down here, see so you've just got this massive piston system. It's like pushing all the trees through here. 
and it's actually uh, drops sand down this little belt. So when a tree is planted, it detects that, it pulls this dirt block out of the way, and then it pushes the wood down and then takes the wood through this little channel, and brings it over there, and then when it's all done, all the sand falls straight through down to here, and then this is how much sand is needed for the system to work correctly. If it's any higher or any lower, it's going to go into an endless loop, so it needs to be right there. And in case there are any glitches, I haven't had any yet, but if there are, there's this little auto switch uh, turn off, so it stops the sand belt from constantly looping. So I just, I just haven't had to turn it off yet, but in case it does happen. And then you can hear that piston going on down there. It's actually uh, the engine room. That's the engine. It's the auto detection. Because uh, unfortunately when you plant a tree and the tree grows, if this is on all the time, it's actually not going to detect it because it needs the block to change in the vicinity. So I just have this going on and off. And I built it with enough distance that you couldn't hear the engine running when you're up there because that would be really annoying. And uh, this is just a reset button in case you log off while the piston's extended because you don't know, get stuck that way. That way instead of having to wait for it to reset itself, you can just press this button and it automatically reset the engine so it keeps going. And then on this level you got the piston floors. This is just uh, what pushes the bottom up. so. It you know, it goes up to a new level every time once it fills up the, the current level. So that's just the, the maintenance shaft, basically, to in case anything does go awry, which I haven't had an issue yet. But once this is all filled up, yeah, that alarm goes off and everything's good to go. So let me just show you the work inner workings here. See? It's got all this detection stuff going on and it's got the system of pistons it's a massive conveyor belt of sand that gets pushed up and then when it when it falls where am I oh yeah see when it falls through here it goes all the way down here and then this pushes it this way pushes it all the way back up and over and then it brings it all the way to the top and then it's got this little stopper here so when the tree is actually finished when it's done being built and the way I detect that is uh, when the sand falls past a certain height it'll trigger this uh, repeater right here which will trigger the piston up here in inside here it'll just trigger it so it'll be extended and that stops the sand from being able to get pushed through anymore and falling down and then this piston right here acts as the pushing mechanism, so it pushes the sand down and any logs that are trapped in the way. So let's just run it one more time here, just so you can see it in action again. Yeah, pretty, uh, overall it is pretty useless, but... I just had fun building it, it was just an idea I had. If there was any way I could compact the uh, the design, I guess there would be, and like, have some way to channel all of it into one central location from multiple trees. It could have some sort of use, I guess, like, if you're too lazy to, you know, to hop up the tree yourself, you could actually have just one central collection area, plant a bunch of trees, and then, um, at the end of the day, you come back and you got this whole area filled up just so you can you know, chop the wood down. So that'd be kind of cool. And just to make sure you can see that it actually is working for the system detection here. If I knock this black out, alarm goes off. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's the uh, whole design right here. The entire building, it's very, 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 very spacious and you got the underworkings here for the engine and everything and there's a little prototype over there one I built before it's kind of faster but the, what I didn't like about this one is you couldn't replant very quickly because there was a glitch that would happen is once the dirt block came back if you planted the tree immediately after the whole system would screw up somehow and sand would start looping over and over again it wouldn't shut off so 
this one's a little bit more stable. So you can just constantly plant one tree after another, after another, after another, over and over and over again. So, oh, see, sapling just fell from here and landed over here. So that way you can collect saplings and whatnot, and you combine it with like a, a mob system. You can get an endless stream of bones coming in, so you can just get a bunch of bone meal. You just plant tree after tree after tree, and then when you're done, you come over here and go up these stairs and just walk along the top and just constantly chop down layer after layer after layer after layer of wood and, and then put the axe back and you're good to go so that is pretty much it hope you uh, enjoyed my useless creation but I hope it hope it was enjoyable for you to watch it so yeah let me know what you think this is Arcane Society signing out Yeah, I love watching that. So cool. Alright, peace.